Unity normally does not come without any tolerance or compromise in any family or organization. In this case of the formation of the Global Council, we see so much tolerance. About 80% was done by Central Trust. And it looks like SSIO does not want to compromise just two more terms of reference to make the unity for the whole world. I mean, this is the, another chat that's just, another message that's coming in is the 98, 99% was all agreed. It's just that 2% which the organized, international organization could not agree. What do you say to that, Suresh? The, to your devotees in Penang, Malaysia. I think uh, when, you, when you opened up and you said coming back, coming back to home, I think this is a very important point in the sense that I mean, let's make it very humanistic. Like the end of the day, a devotee, um, we, we feel very, we, we very much feel for the agon, uh, agonizing moments that the devotee is feeling right now, confusion. Uh, it's actually unnecessary for this entire process to take place, really unnecessary. Uh, honestly, if this has been properly managed, uh, the announcement itself could have been made by consulting everybody. I mean, there should be workshop. You, you have seen mergers taking place. When uh, company A, company B, company C is supposed to merge, there's a whole lot of processes taking place. Sometimes merging takes place one, two years later because even the terms of references need to be agreed upon. So when company A stands up suddenly and announces that we're taking over B and C, uh, that was a shocker. So that in itself is a real uh, a big shock for everybody. So change management has got a process. You cannot just suddenly like a knee jerk, do that. It doesn't happen anywhere. It doesn't happen like that. So that is why this whole reaction uh, is of that nature. I'm not answering your question directly, but I know <laughs> because you'll take the opportunity to speak. <laughs> so I'm just putting in the word. But the point to this is that the entire agreement or the entire discussion is on the terms of reference. So to say it's 98% correct and only 2%, it's really not true. It's not true. Because we know we have studied this actually, we can, <laughs> so many hours, day and night, we are looking at it. Honestly, 60, 70% is not there. Uh, the, because most of the terms of, see, terms of reference means what? In terms of reference, what are you supposed to be doing? The, terms of reference defines us. Terms of reference describes us. So technically, that is what we are disagreeing because at the point, this point, it is directly contradicting to what Swami has said. So, Really, it is not 98% agreement, and it is not 2%. It's more than 50, 60%, 50, maybe 60% it is not in agreement because the main core function of the terms of reference, it was not in agreement. But we were work, willing to work on it in the sense that the discussion was going on. We were refining that when suddenly we were uh, abruptly uh, stopped because of that letter. So we can't proceed, proceed. But as what Brother Leonardo said, if ever the door still open back again, then yes, pr probably we should sit down and discuss. Yes, there are some devotees also uh, said to us as well that what is this, a few lines here, a few lines there. Uh, why can't you just agree and go forward? Why don't we come together first and then change from within and all that? You know, this is all the dynamics people speak. And I can empathize with that because this is what people are saying. But really speaking, uh, when we don't uh, have the fundamentals right, there will be a lot of confusion in the future because expectations are not... Um, matched. And this ex mismatch in expectations is going to cause a lot of organizational chaos. And dear brothers and sisters, one must understand, an organization is governed by leaders. And don't forget, in, in our place, wherever in all our countries, so far, have you ever seen international organization interfering in any local uh, uh, organization selection process? We, we ourselves have been leaders in Malaysia. The international organization never interfered in our local selection process. Everyone went through ranks and file until you reach a certain position. So you cannot just pluck people from different positions and put them there. That's not how it works. So A, there has to be a governance. B, there has to be a systematic structure in order for the culture of the organization to be well-placed. And C, this has been a 50-year process and we cannot trivialize our contribution towards developing the structure and processes. So if we just marginalize that and move over, the entire organization can crumble. 
So we cannot just say, oh, Swami will take care, Swami will take care. Yes, Swami will take care, but Swami also told us to have sufficient intelligence to see what is right, what is wrong, do the right things and do so. So this is what the terms of reference is. So it is not really true that 98% is agreeable. It is not right. Brother Ashok, I just want to clarify. This percentage counting really doesn't make sense to me. And I'll tell you why. Okay. They're not equally weighted. Okay, so for example, I tell you, Ashok, Ashok, I want you to um, let's let's share our properties and you give me this, 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 this. You know, we agree on 99% of everything, right? And then last thing I tell you, can you cut out your heart and give it to me? And then I tell everyone, look, 99% we agreed. There's one thing he doesn't want to give it to me. Just one thing in this, for the sake of unity, cut out your heart and give it to me. You simply don't exist anymore at that point. So the, the various items in the terms of reference don't have equal weight. We should always keep that in mind. The weight given to Swami's words is the highest. Let every question that is being asked in our minds, and this will help us all get clarity. Every question that is being asked in our minds be prefaced by this. Will this question that I'm about to ask preserve Swami's words. And now tell me, why can we not compromise? Every question. So preserving Swami's words is the only reason. It's not, the reason is not, you know, why can I not wear a red shirt and come and see you in your house? No, that, that's not the issue. Issue is Swami's words. And I really think that's why, if you think about 1987, the World Council was not dis dissolved and the terms of references changed by individuals. It was Swami. It was never the case that individuals got, hey, let's change this, let's dissolve the World Council. No, Swami dissolved it. And, and Swami set up this organization. He gave us the Ten Commandments. It's just like God gave to Moses. Can generations ever say later on that these Ten Commandments are useless, that they don't bear weight anymore? because times have changed. God knows that he's omniscient. God knows that these 10 commandments will withstand the test of time. He's not I just- I, I guess that's why all our scriptures survive thousands and thousands of years exactly. old. Exactly, that's why they're called scriptures. By definition, scriptures are those that will stand the test of time. Otherwise, it is non-fiction okay, or let fiction. Me along. Anupam? Ashok, Ashok, there is one point I wanted to make very quickly, which is back to your old question, tolerance. Okay, so this is the point of view of many devotees and officers from South America, North America, Europe. And I wanted to put that on record because we have many countries there. They were asking the question the other way around. Tolerance, we... SSI, the international organization in more than 100 countries, has shown 80% of the tolerance. Not 20%, 80% of the tolerance. Why? Because we were running along according to Swami's guidance and his instructions and what he set up perfectly well. It was acknowledged throughout the world. In fact, trust members, trustees have complimented us in public, you can go back to their talks and speeches before that this organization is working nicely around the world. We are serving devotees. We are enhancing our uh, operations. We are serving everybody, etc. So why are we being asked to drop that and go to something which is unknown, untested, unverified, and set up by man? Why are we doing this? We said, relax, calm down, let's practice tolerance, sahana, let's practice more understanding. Swami says, wherever there is a conflict, and these are in his discourses, first understand, then adjust. You cannot adjust without understanding. And that understanding, brothers and sisters, is based on love and peace in your heart. It is not based on graph for power, etc. It's based on love and peace. Let us understand each other that understanding process got cut off. So where is the tolerance? You need to ask yourself this question. Don't listen to rhetoric. Don't listen to people talking 
ask yourself these questions, look at the facts and draw your own conclusion. Thank you, uh, Leonardo, very quickly, and then I'd like to move yeah. along. Okay, yes, no, Anupam has said that perfectly well. We were following Swami's procedures and instructions, and the SAR organization was working very well in 119 countries. This worked. Now we are, we have only 108 countries. So they have split part of the organization. Why? Why they want, uh, Suresh mentions all, all the time, what, why do you try to fix something that is working well? So we have a proof that the cyber organization, international organization is working very well. Why they are trying to fix it? It's better than they fix themselves first. 